Let me ask you a question. Which weighs more, one kilogram of feathers or one kilogram of gold? It's really simple, as we have one kilogram of feathers and one kilogram of gold. So, their weight and obviously mass is equal, right? We'll see how it goes. There are some things we need to talk about. First of them are mass and weight. Digital scales actually measure our weight and not mass. They trick us by converting the pressure force to other mass units, dividing the weight by the gravitational force of Earth. But what's the difference between mass and weight? Mass is the amount of matter something is made of, object's density multiplied by its volume. And it doesn't change whether the object is on Earth, on Moon or even on Mars. The mass is same everywhere. What changes on different conditions is weight. Weight is a measurement that shows how much the force of gravity acts on a given amount of mass. The force of gravity varies slightly all over Earth. So while you have the same mass, your weight changes. In everyday life, mass and weight are frequently mistaken, and we even measure weight in kilograms or pounds, and I blame scales for that, because in physics world, it must be measured in newtons. Surprisingly, the closest gravitational force to Earth's isn't on Venus, which is similar size to Earth, but it is on Saturn, which is way bigger. This is because Saturn is made up of gases and it's not solid like Earth. Its gravitational force is 10.44 meters per second squared, which makes it only 7% stronger than Earth's surface gravity on the equator. And on the Moon, the gravitational force is 1 sixth the strength, which makes you be able to jump 3 meters up as you weigh 6 times less. Now that's enough about planets, let's talk about the buoyancy force. You might think that the buoyancy force only works in fluids, except that air around us acts like a fluid too. We can clearly see the buoyancy force in water if we try to sink the ball and it fires back up again. But it works in air as well because air has a density of approximately 1.225 kg per meter cubed. So a balloon is suspended in air and a jellyfish is suspended in water for the same reason. Each is buoyed upwards by a force equal to the weight of a fluid that would occupy its volume. Our two objects mass is equal, one kilogram, but feathers would fill up more space because they are less dense. And there you go, one kilogram of gold and one kilogram of feathers. Now we just put them on a two-sided scale and we can see that they both stay equal. It's so anticlimactic because we just proved the statement which was made in the beginning. But is that it? We need to go deeper. Now, add a glass dome and suck all the air from it. We have a space without any air, it's called a vacuum. That means the buoyancy force won't affect the feathers and the gold now. What does that mean? Well, as we already know, the buoyancy force, also known as upthrust, lifts objects up. And when we put 1 kilogram of feathers, 
their upthrust is greater than the gold bars, because the feather's volume is much bigger, 400 liters to be exact. And 1 kilogram of gold occupies only 51 cubical centimeters, which is 8000 times less. So, when wires are around it, feathers are being lifted more than the gold bar. And it takes more than 1 kilogram for the scales to show exactly 1000 grams. As I apply some upwards force to this glass, scales show less weight than before. But the mass obviously doesn't change. And as we remove the air from this dome, surprise, the feathers go down. That means that technically yes, their weight is the same. We were right about asking which weighs more. But their mass is not the same at all. Knowing that buoyancy equals the weight of displaced fluid, and by doing some calculations, we got that the feather's mass is half a kilogram greater, making its mass 1.5 kilograms. And the real gold bar's mass is only 0.000062475 kg more. In a nutshell, the bigger volume an object occupies, the greater upthrust force lifts that object up. And to make the scale show exactly 1 kilogram, we need half a kilogram more feathers to compensate the buoyancy force. That makes the feathers mass much bigger than the gold bars, because gold bar is so dense and occupies nearly 8000 times less space. It's surprising what the seemingly light air can do. Thank you for watching the Cyphix, where it's all about knowledge.